everyone, it's Luke from Blister, and today we're talking about a brand new ski from a brand new ski company, the Kai Shapes Numinous. So Kai Shapes was started by Kai Peterson, um, who some of you may have seen in a lot of different ski movies. He's arguably one of the better or best uh, big mountain free riders out there. And last year he decided to partner with a company called Foon Skis out of Pemberton, British Columbia, who have been making skis there for a long time. And he set out to make his own skis how he wanted them to be made. Currently the line consists of two skis, this, the Numinous, and then the narrower Metamorph, which we'll also be talking about. Uh, both of which are made in Pemberton by Foon and both of which are currently only offered in a single length each. So the Numinous is the big gun in the Kai Shapes lineup. Uh, it is a little over 122 millimeters underfoot, so it's very wide, and it's only available currently in a 189 centimeter length. So this is a ski that Kai is gonna be using on his big consequential lines, um, huge pillow lines, big mountain spines in Alaska, stuff like that. Um, as a result, it's a pretty strong, pretty heavy ski that we think is going to be really stable. Um, on the note about flex pattern, especially for a ski that's designed to be able to spin and flip, this is a very strong ski. Um, the tips and tails are definitely softer than the middle, um, but they're still pretty strong for, especially for a ski this wide and a ski designed to uh, kind of take more of a freestyle approach to the mountain. Uh, interestingly, the tip is actually a little stiffer than the tail. Um, and we've seen this on some other freestyle pow skis where they make the tail softer uh, to help it plane up a little bit better when you're skiing switch in deep snow, which can be really helpful. And then for weight, the ski is very heavy. Uh, this 189 centimeter length comes in at an average weight of around 2,570 grams, which makes it one of the heaviest skis we've actually weighed. Now, some people might be thrown off by that, but personally, a lot of us at Blister are really excited about all that weight because really heavy skis tend to be really stable. And this looks like it's gonna be a really stable ski in addition to being a very playful ski. On that note about playfulness, the rocker profile of this ski is actually surprisingly what we'd call conservative for a ski that's this wide. Um, it has tip and tail rocker. Um, the tip and tail rocker lines are pretty similar to each other. Um, but there are a lot of skis in the kind of more playful powder category that have much deeper tail or tip and tail rocker lines. Um, the ski also has a lot of tip and tail splay. It has a high twin tail, so you should be able to ski switch on it just fine. To go with that rocker profile is what we call very progressive shape. Uh, this ski has a lot of tip and tail taper. On Kai Shape's website, they talk a lot about uh, smooth curves, both in terms of the rocker profile and the shape, and that definitely applies to this ski. Um, it tapers very deep into the tip, um, but it's a very smooth taper line. It doesn't taper to much of a point um, like some skis will, so you still got a decent amount of surface area in that tip. Um, but like many skis that are this tapered, that should make it pretty easy to pivot and slarve around in deep snow. Um, but the ski does still have a little bit of camber underfoot, um, and it's not a reverse side cut ski, so. Kai did not design the ski to be a powder only tool. They talk a lot about its ability to hold an edge on firm snow and bust through crud and chop, which based on the shape rocker profile and especially the weight and the flex pattern, we expect this ski to be very good at doing that. Uh, in the tail, a similar taper line, um, lots of early taper, and it tapers to a bit more of a point in the tail, probably designed to sink that tail a little bit in deep snow. Um, but overall, lots of taper on the ski but not dramatic taper at the very ends, not tapering too much of a point. Um, all in all, should, should equate to a ski that's pretty easy to slide around. And we're very curious about how it's gonna do in non-powder conditions. The side cut of the ski, especially for a playful pow ski, is actually pretty long. The 189 centimeter length has a stated side cut radius of a little over 26 meters, which is definitely on the longer end of the spectrum. Um, so should be stable at high speeds and we're curious about how it's gonna react at slower speeds, but combined with all that taper and rocker, we imagine that it's still gonna be pretty easy to pivot around. Lastly, in terms of mount point, um, there are two lines on this ski. Uh, there's one that's listed as Kai's mount point, and that's around uh, four and a half centimeters from true center. And then there's a line labeled waist, uh, the waist of the ski, and that's uh, just a little bit under seven centimeters from true center. 
Um, so we'll be trying it at a variety of mount points, but both of those lines are definitely on the more forward end of the spectrum. Um, it's not a super traditional mount point, uh, especially on that Kai line, should equate to a very balanced feel in the air. Um, but even on that four and a half centimeter line, you should still be able to drive the front of it, and especially more so on that further back line. Um, so we expect this ski to be pretty versatile in terms of uh, stance, whether centered or forward, um, but we're curious to see if that actually turns out to be true on snow. So those are the quick highlights with the Kai Shapes newness. Uh, you can head to blisterreview.com to see our full first look, including all of our measured specs, our rocker profile pictures, our flex pattern numbers, and uh, several skis that we're gonna be comparing the Numinous to and how their designs differ or are similar to the design of the Numinous. So head to blisterreview.com to see all of that info and then stay tuned for our full review.